So today, we are going to show you how to load a tune into your Delta Control module. So, first and foremost, you need to plug in the module. So, when you plug it in, I just unplugged it, just to show you what it'll sound like when you plug it in. All right, once you plug it into your USB port, you should see or hear the beep boop, which uh, basically means that it is communicating effectively with your laptop. Um, if it does not give you the beep boop, you need to check either your cord. Um, if you do not have um, the cord that we supplied with the Delta Control module, it may not be the correct cord that you need. Um, there should be like a little base, a little cylinder base on the uh, end of the connector. Um, that's what you need to have on that cord in order for you to be able to use the Delta Control module and communicate with your laptop. So moving forward, also you should have the red light illuminated on the Delta Control module once you plug it in. So once you confirm that you have communications, then you can move forward. But to check if you have communications, you can go down here, uh, go to your device manager, so right click right there, device manager, and you can check and see. Okay, so we see USB serial CH340 on COM port 6. That is the COM port that our Delta Control module is on. So we know we have communications there. Moving forward, I have put an icon on the desktop, which gives you access to the DCM software quickly. Double click that. All right, we have Delta Control module software pulled up, and we know that we are on COM port 6. So we select COM port 6. Now it says, please wait, connecting the module, reading settings. All right, so now we can view the calibration data on the Delta Control module. Now, we want to load a tune onto the DCM that I had sent you or somebody from my team had sent you. So you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to load from file. Click on load cal file to module. All right, so this is a 2020 Chevy Corvette. This is PPT, Pites Performance Tunes, take three, dot cal, C-A-L. Double click that. Now it's going to say entering programming mode, loading EEPROM. Okay, so it has loaded successfully. Now we need to reset power to the module for the new cal file. So we're going to shut ignition off. Then we're going to unplug the USB and then be sure the red light turns off if you can see it. Um, it's probably inside installed in the tunnel of your car. So you'll know if it's not working regardless. Um, be sure that the red light turns off and restart this program. All right, so we're going to unplug. All right, red light's off, okay. And we're gonna close that down. Now you're gonna plug the DCM back in the USB port to your laptop. Should get the beep boop. We're gonna click on DCM and we're gonna click on COM port six. Still reading settings. All right, and that has successfully loaded. So we are good to go to continue logging the car. Now, I probably told you that I needed you to take a log or somebody from my team told you that we needed you to take a log. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna open up HP Tuners so you can view the scanner. Now we have a log open right now, um, but what you'll do is close this log file. If you have a log file open, um, you're going to connect the vehicle right there. I'm not connected to a vehicle right now, so I can't show you exactly everything, how that will look. But once you connect to the vehicle, you're going to start scanning and you're going to follow the instructions we have sent you, uh, probably part throttle and or wide open throttle testing. And once you're done completing the test, you're going to click on stop scanning and you can disconnect from the vehicle. You're going to log file, save log file as, save it in an appropriate folder and email it to us and then we can check it out and go from there. So while you're doing that, uh, I forgot to add uh, that you'll need to, after you connect to the vehicle, you start scanning, you're also going to go back down here to Delta Control module, you're going to go to live data and you're going to start scanning there as well. So it's very important to start those both at the same time and once you're done, you saved your file in VCM scanner, you can also save your file here, stop and click export to XLS, save that in the same folder you save the VCM scanner log and email both of those to us and we can go from there. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys. I really appreciate it and happy tuning.